Hey, I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm uh, recording an event that happens once a year. And uh, if you love reenactments, you know, like this one. And it happens right here in Kirby, Texas. And it all starts now. Revolt, and this happens once a year uh, at Friendship Park in Kirby. So if you've never been to Friendship Park in Kirby, at least once a year, you should check out this event. It's pretty neat. we are that the San Antonio Living History Association has chosen to have Kirby Friendship Park be a part of their reenactment. It's something that we look forward to every year and I think it's important that we remember history and it's right here in front of us and so thank you very much for the organization to consider Kirby each year. I hope everybody enjoys the reenactment. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and students. The San Antonio Living History Association welcomes you to this year's 183rd anniversary reenactment of the Battle of Concepcion that took place October 28th, that would be tomorrow, but in 1835. Following the Gonzales incident and major engagement that began the Texas Revolution on October 2nd, we, we follow up with the battle, the mixed battle of the Texas Revolution that occurred here in the San Antonio area. We are pleased to recognize the city of Kirby as our host for this year's historical reenactment. This is our third opportunity to be here uh, for this event. Without their support and cooperation, today's uh, event would not be possible. Now let's set the historical scene uh, for you as you as we watch the final preparations. Again, on October 2nd, the Lexington of Texas was the Battle of Gonzales. Uh, and the, the battle cry of come and take it, referring to the cannon that the Mexicans were, were attempting to, to uh, take back from the rebels. Uh, following that, that event, General Stephen F. Austin, who was elected, was in command of the Volunteer Army of Texas under the Federalist flag of 1824. And its objective was to take the town, the Mexican held town of Beja, uh, as San Antonio was known in those days. By October 20th, more than 400 men and seven companies had advanced to the Salado Creek southeast of Beja, near where Comanche Park is today. As it marched closer to, to the town, uh, James Bowie, a man of varied career, had rode out from his home in San Antonio de Beja and joined the cause. He was made Lieutenant Colonel by General Austin two days later. On the 22nd, he was joined by a force of 37 mounted Tejanos led by Captain Juan Seguin. Then, after that, the 1st Division of the 1st Battalion was formed under the leadership of Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Bowie and Captain James W. Fannin. They were sent to recon uh, reconnoiter the missions that were closer to the town in order to reestablish themselves uh, at a future date. This they did, and they left Mission Espada that the Texans had begun with as their base camp. 
Of course, Espada is located about six miles south of uh, Mission Concepcion. During this time, the Mexican garrison were receiving reinforcements in town continually until about October 26, in reaction to the advancing American army. The Mexican forces had grown to 750 men. Many of these soldiers were mounted cavalry, and they had had several skirmishes all around the probing, uh, all around the town with the probing uh, forces of General Austin. It looks like they had drones. On the day before, October 27th, the day before the battle, Austin sent uh, Bannon and Bowie forward from Ismala and to, to scout around to see where uh, the next strong campsite could be established for the Texian army. Bowie and Fannin discovered a bend in the San Antonio River near the Espada, uh, near the Concepcion Mission, uh, and there was near a river bank that had a slope going down and, and followed by a flat, sandy and, and a gravel area adjacent to the river. There they, they established their, their uh, initial encampment for scouting, and they found that there was just dead trees and a, an embankment where they could cut steps to go up fire up on the ground level. So it affected, it became a defensive wall, although they were lower uh, down on the bank than the anybody who would be up on top uh, coming toward them. They even posted a, a lookout on the tower of Mission Concepcion and sent a staff officer back to Austin to let him know that they had decided to, instead of returning to spend Sorry the night, the Austin phone, was furious because now Canberra, his forces ringing. were divided without knowing the full disposition of the Mexican army. And now, if you would imagine, on an early Sunday morning when it was foggy, September of October of 1835, we'll watch the Mexican infantry and artillery try to dislodge the Texians from their discovered position below the edge of the riverbank. 183 years ago, as the San Antonio Living History Association brings you the Battle of Concepcion. The Battle of Concepcion was the first real military conflict between the Texian and the Tejano rebels and the Mexican army who came to try to put down the rebellion against, against Mexico. This battle was also the first time the Mexican army was exposed to the fire of the devastating Texian law. Thousands of pecans came down, rained down upon the Texans. And some of them had not had breakfast that early morning and they found themselves picking up the cars from the ground during the battle and snacking in between. I didn't realize GMC's been out that long. Now I see how they won the revolution. Well, I 
hope you enjoyed this video. Ooh, I look black. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at myself in the dark. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't go back, unfortunately, because my wife had uh, some other things that she had to do. Um, you know, my wife, she's, uh, I told you before, she is a animal rights activist and she loves animals. So she went to help a friend of hers who was having a, a sale, a, a yard sale actually, but selling dogs and, you know, clothing. So shout out to Juan and I hope you did good. But uh, my wife's back home now and we're taking Manny out for his walk. You know, as a matter of fact, you should go out and do the same thing. Go out with the family. And spend time with them. Because life is too precious. And it's short. And the reason why I say that is because of what happened in Pennsylvania. So, I just want to give my, or actually send my prayers and my condolences to the families in Pennsylvania uh, and the shooting that happened there. Uh, I am really sorry that that happened and I wish we can get over this hump, but unfortunately I don't think we will. You know, we all have our own demons, you know, and hate's always going to be there. We have to rise above that and I hope we do one day, you know. I'm going to always be there for my family, no matter what. So, on that note, I hope you liked the video, though. I love learning history, you know, especially a little bit of Texas history, uh, something I never knew. But it'll happen again next year at Friendship Park in Kirby, Texas. So, if you're ever in San Antonio and around the area, go check it out. It's really worth watching. It's really fun. So, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please do so by hitting that notification button. And please give me a like. I hope you did. Hope I did some justice. So until next time, stay blessed, my friends.